Each year, more than 3,000 tons of gold are extracted worldwide. It is the most valuable metal on the planet. A single pure bar can exceed $10 million. And the most shocking thing is that, according to experts, we have only found around 20% of the total gold that exists on Earth. But have you ever wondered where it really comes from? How is it possible that something so small can be worth such colossal figures? Well then, today we will travel directly to Switzerland, home of the most prestigious gold refinery on the planet. A place where every day, hundreds of tons of rock extracted in the enormous mines of Africa and South America are transformed into those golden bars that we have all dreamed of at some time. So, get ready, because you are about to discover how one of the most exclusive and desired metals in history is processed massively. Let's begin. Step number one. Gold extraction. Everything begins deep underground, hundreds of meters below the surface, where gold has remained trapped for millions of years between very hard layers of rock. To extract it requires a colossal mining operation, giant excavators that tear up the terrain, industrial drills capable of breaking solid rock as if it were butter, and a fleet of titanic trucks that transport tons of material relentlessly, day and night. In many regions, such as in several mines in South America, open-pit mining is used, a method almost completely dominated by heavy machinery, which tears out huge layers of ground to access the deepest deposits. But in other areas, especially in Africa, underground mining predominates, one of the most risky in the world. There, a network of narrow tunnels is excavated that descend into the bowels of the mountain, where the operators work in extreme conditions to extract just a few particles of the most valuable metal on the planet. To understand the magnitude of the process, this fact is enough. Up to 30 tons of ore must be processed to obtain a single gram of pure gold, a brutal proportion that explains why this metal can reach millions of dollars on the global market. Once extracted, the enormous haul trucks collect the raw rocks and transport them to the processing plants where the real industrial challenge will begin. Step number two, crushing and grinding. Once the trucks unload the tons of rock at the processing plant, the first critical step begins to release the gold trapped inside. The enormous freshly extracted stones fall directly into industrial crushers, machines capable of applying such high pressure that they break up large blocks of rock in a matter of seconds. Between their steel plates, the blocks are broken and reduced to fragments the size of a tennis ball. But this is not enough. To be able to separate the gold, the rock must become much finer. The thousands of fragments continue their journey towards the ball mills, enormous metal cylinders that rotate tirelessly. Inside, thousands of steel spheres bounce and collide against the ore again and again, pulverizing it until it becomes an ultra-fine gray powder, very similar to flour. What a few minutes ago was solid rock like granite is now a light powder that slips between the fingers, a powder that, although it has no shine or stands out to the naked eye, literally hides a treasure inside. Step number three, gold separation. With the ore reduced to powder, one of the most important moments of the entire process arrives, separating the gold from everything that is useless. The tons of powder are introduced into enormous stainless steel tanks, where it is mixed with water and a chemical solution of sodium cyanide. This compound, used in the industry for decades, has a key property. It dissolves only the gold, separating it from the rest of the rock. It is a very controlled chemical process, and so reactive that it can only be manipulated with specialized equipment, protective suits, and strict protocols within the plant. A small error in this stage could cause millionaire losses or even produce low-purity gold, ruining the entire process. The final result is a mixture that is deceptive to the eye, a murky and thick liquid that seems to have no value. It does not shine. It does not have a solid form, but it is loaded with dissolved gold invisible to the naked eye but ready to come to light in the next process. Step number four, gold recovery. It is time to begin to recover that gold that until now has remained dissolved and invisible. The loaded solution is pumped into gigantic activated carbon towers, huge columns filled with a porous material that acts like an industrial sponge. It absorbs the dissolved gold and retains it inside. As the mixture passes through these towers, the chemical magic happens. The solution comes out almost clean while the carbon is completely saturated with gold. It is, basically, as if that turbid water from the previous step had been filtered to exclusively capture the valuable metal. Once the carbon has trapped all the gold, the next step arrives, to free it. 
That loaded carbon is transferred to special tanks, where a controlled combination of heat and pressure is applied. Under these conditions, the gold separates from the carbon and passes into a new liquid solution specifically designed to collect it in a pure and concentrated form. The result is the so-called rich solution, a dense and golden liquid that contains a strong concentration of gold. It is, literally, the first real glimpse of pure gold before it becomes valuable bars. Step number five, conversion to solid gold. One of the most decisive moments of the entire process arrives, converting that dissolved gold into a real solid metal. The mixture is pumped into large precipitation tanks, where zinc powder is added. Explained simply, the zinc pushes the gold out of the liquid, forcing it to separate and return to its solid state. The effect is immediate. As soon as the zinc comes into contact with the solution, tiny golden nuggets begin to form and slowly deposit at the bottom of the tanks, creating a dense and extremely valuable sludge. This first form of the metal is known as gold doré, a much purer mixture than any material obtained so far, although still far from becoming a commercial bar. This sludge then passes through enormous industrial filters, which squeeze out the excess water and leave behind a solid concentrate loaded with gold, very similar to a golden sand. The concentrate is transferred directly to industrial furnaces capable of exceeding 1,000 degrees Celsius. There, the gold melts, separates from the last impurities, and falls as a bright and heavy liquid metal inside rectangular molds. It is one of the most spectacular moments in the entire plant seeing how that incandescent metal fills the molds and begins to take its unmistakable bar shape. With the gold already melted and molded, the process enters its final stretch. The metal is ready to move to the refining phase and reach the purity that makes it a product of the highest value. Step number six, refining and final purification. Before reaching its most valuable form, gold must travel thousands of kilometers. The gold doré bars obtained at the mining plant are not yet those perfect bars that you see in the display cases. They still contain small impurities and mixed metals. Therefore, they are sent directly to Switzerland, home of the most prestigious refineries on the planet. It is there where the metal receives its maximum purification and the international certificates that give it real value in the world markets. When it arrives at the refinery, the most delicate stage of the entire process begins bringing the metal to a purity close to 99.9%, .9%, practically the highest level that exists in the entire industry. The gold doré bars are placed inside large metal vats filled with a special chemical solution. Inside these vats, a very controlled electric current is applied, and here the surprising thing happens. The electricity separates the pure gold from the one that still contains impurities. The cleanest gold gradually accumulates on the surface while the heavier impurities fall to the bottom as a dark sludge without value. When enough pure gold has accumulated, it is removed, rinsed, and remelted in high-precision furnaces to convert it into bars with an almost perfect purity. Each bar is weighed, chemically analyzed, and marked with its level of purity, its unique serial number, and the official seal of the Swiss refinery. Only then is it ready to move to the last stage of the process. Step number seven, storage and final destination. With the bars ready, it is time to store them and prepare them to go out into the world. Each piece is transferred to the refinery security chambers, spaces that function as authentic industrial bunkers. Reinforced walls, armored doors, 24-hour surveillance, and biometric systems that only allow access to certified personnel. There, the bars await their final destination. Some will be sent to central banks and financial entities, where they will become part of the strategic reserves of different countries. Others will travel to mints, specialized refineries, or technological industries, where they will be transformed into coins or essential components for electronic devices and luxury jewelry. All transportation is carried out under extremely strict security protocols. Armored vehicles, discrete routes, and professional escorts guarantee that each piece arrives intact at its destination. And it is not for less. A single one of these shipments can carry the equivalent of hundreds of millions of dollars in pure gold and a failure here would be catastrophic. Finally, tell us, did you imagine this entire process? Have you ever seen a real gold bar? Leave us your answer in the comments. And if you like this video, do not forget to like it, subscribe, and activate the bell so you don't miss the next tour of the factory.